Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection, and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. Did you know that there are even more reasons to love your dog? Better thinking, reduced stress, and happier work. That's right. Recent research shows that prioritizing pets can lead to a happier and healthier relationship between you and your canine buddy. Dogs are a big part of our lives, and evolution may play a part. In fact, dogs were the first species to be domesticated, going back some 10,000 years. It is likely they afforded benefits to their owners, helping with hunting and offering companionship from the earliest days. Today, people are extraordinarily committed to their pets, and a study of 2,600 pet parents by CertaPet found people make decisions based on the time they can spend with their dogs. To learn more, stay tuned. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is your host, Michelle Forto, and I'm the lead trainer for Alaska Dog Works, where we help humans and their dogs have better relationships. If you are like me and the rest of the world, you have spent a lot of time at home with your dog over the past couple of years. Now that we are headed back to the office, it might be a good idea to talk to your boss and see if you can bring your canine buddy into work. Let them know that your furry friend allows for more clarity, reduced stress, and a happier work environment. (laughs) That's right, having puppies and dogs romping around at work fully trained, of course, just might be the ticket and it is cheaper than a gym membership for a whole gaggle of employees. Tell your boss that this is even backed up by scientific research. Let's dive right in. These are stressful times and if you're like most people, you are feeling the impact of stress in your work and your life. From the pandemic and world issues to weather crises and work issues, we're feeling the pressure. People are struggling. A new study from the American Psychological Association found 84% of adults reported feeling the effects of prolonged stress, including 47% who experienced anxiety, 44% who experienced sadness, and 39% who experienced anger. 67% of adults said they felt overwhelmed by the number of issues they were facing. But reducing your stress and creating the conditions for greater happiness in work and in life may come from an unlikely source, your dog. You always knew it was great to spend time with your pooch, but he may have a greater impact than you thought, and you can increase the ways your dog helps you. Prioritizing pets. Dogs are a big part of our lives and evolution may play a part. In fact, dogs were the first species to be domesticated going back 10,000 years. It is likely they afforded benefits to their owners helping with hunting and offering companionship from those earliest days. 
Today, people are extraordinarily committed to their pets, and a study of 2,600 pet parents by CertiPet found people make decisions based on the time they can spend with their dogs. 47% of pet owners experience separation anxiety when they are away from their dogs. 76% of dogs experience anxiety when their owners are away. 41% have canceled plans because they can't take their dog along. And 69% would prefer to work from home permanently for the sake of their dog. In addition, people may prioritize their dogs above their human relationships. 70% would break up with someone who wouldn't allow their dog to be around. And 38% feel their dog is more important than their significant other. Dogs offer emotional support and good company without the complexities of human relationships. And they're generally pretty cute as well. But their benefits are deeper too and well documented. Here's why dogs offer such a great boon to your physical, mental, and emotional health and to your work. Dogs help you think better. Perhaps one of the least known benefits of a dog is how Fido helps you think better. Research by Washington State University found that interacting with dogs enhanced people's executive function, their ability to think, plan, memorize, and even concentrate. And this effect lasted six weeks beyond contact with their dogs. Consider the power of this on your work. If your thinking is better, you can perform more easily and more effectively, contributing to greater happiness at work. And work tends to have a spillover effect. When you're happier at work, you tend to experience greater joy in the rest of your life. So the ability to bring your best and apply your talents brilliantly will have a positive impact at work and at home, all thanks to your dog. Dogs help you connect. Relationships with other humans are critical to our mental health. Even if you're an introvert, you need connections with others, even if they are minimal. Your dog can be a bridge to other humans, helping you meet people, connect, and bond. A study by Virginia Commonwealth University found when dogs were present in the workplace, people got to know each other and had more conversations based on the four-legged visitors. You've seen this effect in dog parks and on downtown walks, of course. A dog provides a signal of a common interest. You both love furry friends and an opening for a conversation. A study by the University of Chicago found incidental connections, a quick exchange with a person in line for coffee or brief chat with the pet parent in the dog park can contribute to happiness. Your dog can be a source of connection with anyone, including colleagues. You see your coworker's dog on camera during your virtual meeting, or you hear them discussing the appointment they've made at the vet. These are fodder for points of discussion and connection, which can create the conditions for happiness in your workplace. Dogs contribute to physical health. For years, studies like the one from the University of Michigan have found dogs contribute to physical health because of the physical activity that tends to go along with ownership, taking them for walks and even attending to their needs around the house. In addition, petting a dog reduces blood pressure and it can help with pain management by distracting people from their own physical or emotional conditions. When you're physically healthier, you'll be able to work better and more effectively. You'll have more energy for the big project and better endurance for the long-lasting effects of the pandemic on your work and life. Uncertainty about the future and ambiguity about how and when you'll work tend to generate stress. But physical health helps you mitigate the effects and gives you more resilience to weather ups and the downs. Dogs reduce stress. A recent study of over 6,000 participants by the University of York and the University of Lincoln found pets help reduce stress. This is partially because they provide emotional support and because they are tuned into humans. 
brain scans of dogs at Emory University demonstrated that dogs are especially sensitive to human cues, helping to explain why their companionship is so meaningful. They are tuned into us in ways other humans may not be. Dogs help reduce stress at home, but they can also reduce stress in the workplace. The study by Virginia Commonwealth University also investigated the employee experience when dogs were allowed to come to the office. It found people were measurably less stressed when dogs were present. This was true of the dog owners and of co-workers who were working around the dogs during the day. When you're less stressed, you can do better work and enjoy it more. Stress tends to narrow your perspective, and as a result, it can be tough to think creatively or solve problems. In addition, when you're stressed, you may be more prickly or edgy, impacting negatively on your relationships with your colleagues. And when your dog reduces your stress, your work and your relationships can be improved in turn. Not to mention, you guys, if you're stressed at work, you tend to eat badly. If your dog is with you, he'll tend to go on a walk for your lunch break instead, thus reducing stress and enhancing physical activity. What's to love? So, if you have a dog, appreciate her and all she can do to help you work better. Reduce your stress levels and bring your best to work. Take your dog for walks and enjoy time together in physical activity. Relax with your dog, enjoying the benefits of petting him or feeling his warmth as he lays on your feet during a virtual meeting with your boss. Look for people with whom you can connect based on common appreciation for your dogs and embrace the ways your dog can enhance your thinking and your coping. Gratitude is always a pathway to happiness, so appreciate the role your dog plays in your life focusing on all the positive effects of your canine companion. Times are stressful, but we'll get through it, and our dogs will guide us through. Thanks to Tracy Bauer and the Dog Writers Association of America for this writing and podcast article. So what do you guys think? Have you already sent your boss an email or scheduled a meeting with him on Monday morning? Or maybe you will just continue to work at home. That's a win-win for you and your dog. Let us know in the comments section or on our social channels. Just search DogWorks Radio. If you would like more dog training advice, check it out on our website at alaskadogworks.com. It is now time for our calendar of events. For those that are listening locally on KVRF or our current and past clients, stay tuned for important announcements. For our other listeners, stick around. You might learn something cool. October 13th is National Pet Obesity Awareness Day. October 15th is National Pug Day. October 17th is National Fetch Day along with Dalmatian Day. So we just finished up a very successful summer of group classes in the park. We had a great turnout every time. Next year, we are adding classes in Anchorage on the park strip and even some specialized group classes too. Our dates are already on our Facebook page as events. Just last week, we sponsored Alaska Dog Works Dryland Derby at Beach Lake Park in Chugiak. If you have ever been interested in competing with your dog in Canacross or Bike Jor, this is the spot to begin training for next year. I am even conducting some bike joring clinics right now. Check out ChugiakDogMushers.com for more information. Did you know that every Wednesday and Sunday night we do a Facebook Live at 7 p.m.? Be sure to check us out. If you missed the live broadcast, you can always tune into that later too. Also, stay tuned for information about the Matsu Outdoorsman Show next March, our canine first aid and canine CPR classes next summer, and much more. As always, you can keep up to date by following us on our social channels. Just search DogWorks Radio. And for more training tips and tricks and to learn how to schedule a free discovery call to talk with us about how to make your dog one of the best, visit alaskadogworks.com. And one last thing, 
Did you know that the single best thing you can do for us is to tell your family and friends how to listen to our show? Show them how to listen and maybe they can become a rabid listener just like you. I'm Michelle Forto for DogWorks Radio. I'd like to send a special shout out to my producer, Robert Forto, and we'll see you next time. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.